Hi everybody, I'm Marae. And I'm Meg. And this is Mission, Mission Impossible. Impossible. We are two sisters, one goal, no turning back. And in case you didn't know, we are independent <laughs> to be a health coaches. <laughs> it's true, we've been doing it a while now. <laughs> you can find us at coach.optivia.com backslash Meg for me or backslash Marie for Marie. Great. We look forward to hearing from you soon on that. Today we are covering our Optivia Fuelings organization strategies. Um, as you can see here, I like to keep my rainbow of Optivia Fuelings available so that they are easily viewable. They are the first thing that I see when I come into my kitchen. And so, like they recommend, what you visually see or are drawn towards, you're more likely to eat. So, by keeping the fuelings accessible um, and visible, they, um, it makes it easy for me to reach to these when I feel like I'm, I don't have a hunger pain. Mm -hmm. Now, my organization strategy, you may have a different one, um, and Meg does have a different one that she'll be talking about later. I like to keep up here, these are my snacks and crunchers. So I'll have things that are like the cinnamon sugar sticks or the zesty cheddar and Italian herb crunchers. This is that section. And then we move down into this section here. I keep my shakes over here and other drinks that I like to have. Um, and then I also have breakfast items. So if I have oatmeal or the pancakes or cereal, I typically have those in this corner here as well. And then over here, these are the things, if I have access to a microwave, um, so I'll keep the heartier options, so like the pastas, the potatoes, and then we start to move into the more dessert baked items. So I have my brownies and my squirrel cakes. And then when you get down to here, these are the dessert um, puddings and frosty soft serves and things like that. The multi-grain crackers is kind of randomly placed there. I'm not sure why I put it there. Mm. <laughs> what about down here? Down here, this is the most important um, shelf for me. I always keep a wide variety of bars. Um, and I like to keep these kind of um, all facing the same direction. I'm a little OCD like that. I like to have them all facing the same direction. I can open them up, pop out some bars for the day, and then um, either take them to work, stick them in my car. But this is my um, bar shelf. And it deserves its own shelf. It does. <laughs> <laughs> I love so, the bars. I'm a big bar fan. How many do you normally keep on hand at any given time? Um, well, these boxes are not all full. So I'm one who likes a lot of variety in my fuelings. So I will purchase another set of items when I have like two or three in that box. So I tend to alternate. So if you think about each of these boxes maybe being half full, I always like to keep at least like a two week supply on hand, mm -hmm. um, just in case there happen to be shipping delays, which right now they're, they're, they're experiencing yeah. some delays with that. Um, so that I always have a good variety on hand. Yeah, um, I like how you think of the boxes half full. Not half <laughs> always half full. That's the optimistic side of me. Yeah. The Optivia optimism. <laughs> Cheesy. Yeah. She said that, y'all. <laughs> so I want to hear about your organizational strategy for your foods. And yeah. Feelings. Well, I have a strategy that is adapted to a traveler's lifestyle. So I try to make mine as compact as possible. Mm. So pretty much the first thing I do when I get a box is take everything out of the boxes, which takes away from this rainbow effect, but it does make it a lot more compact and travel uh, ready. So I'll be showing that when I'm back on the road and you, I, it's a little bin, everything is All right. like, lined up like a little Optavia card catalog. <laughs> All right, so we'll uh, insert Meg's uh, organization strategy here and we'll catch you back at the end. Hey Meg, so I see that you've got your bin now with your Optivia fuelings. Would you like to I show do. us how you organize your Optivia fuelings for travel? Yes, so the number one thing that's important for me when I travel is having something that is compact and kind of predictable in terms of how much space it's going to take up in the car. So I got this bin from Walmart. I think it was like 
three or four dollars, something like that. But it's clear, so I can kind of see what's in the front um, and know what's available, at least, you know, first, what's first up. But I take all my fuelings out of the boxes that they come in so I can store them a little easier. And that relies on me recognizing the color coding of the different fuelings that I enjoy. So I have like all of my uh, brownies and desserts kind of like in the back because they're all that same brown color. Um, I've got my soups that are red. And then, you know, Octavia likes to be a little tricky. Um, they have, so this one is a cinnamon swirl cake. There's one that looks exactly the same color wise that is the buttermilk biscuit. And so I have to have them in separate rows. Um, I normally like to eat all of the stuff that's bagged before I travel somewhere. So I'll like get that and have that at the beginning of my trip. But then by the time I leave, there's no bags. So it's just like a lot easier to like pack and shove down. So I'm going to take these off and show you the other goodies that I have in here. So I've got all my bars. Oops, that's not even an Octavia bar, but I've got all my bars like in the back section here. They can kind of be like organized vertically or horizontally. I've got a tuna pouch in here. Um, and just, yeah, these are all my feelings. I try to get the ones that are like powdered or, you know, kind of more compact just so that there's regularity in how they line up. I have two nice rows. <laughs> I've definitely seen people that kind of use the um, like Rolodex separators. You know, you can kind of put, if you wanted to like label these, you could put like a four by six card in here or something and just use it to separate each of the fueling types if you wanted to. Uh, but I find that I can recognize them by color. Um, the only funky thing is that I try to offset these so that like they stack easier. Otherwise, like all the powder kind of goes to the bottom and it's easier to get a higher number of fuelings packed in here um, if you utilize the full space. So yeah, I wanted to ask you how many fuelings can you fit in an, a bin that size? So if I really pack it in, I can fit like three weeks worth of fueling. Wow. But that's like, yeah, that's like mostly powder fuelings and stuff, not as much of the, like the crunchers and bars and stuff. I should probably count how many are in here and then I can tell you. If I counted correctly, I've got 97 fuelings in here. Holy moly. Is that right? I'm going to do it again. <laughs> Yeah, and 46 on this side, 51, 46, 97. I am an accountant by trade, so <laughs> triple check. And we confirmed and reconfirmed there are 97 fuelings in here. You need about 35 fuelings a week. So yeah, that would be about three weeks worth. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. I like, I, I think I need to convert my system, even though I'm at home, that just seems so much more compact. That's really cool. It's super compact. And then like, I have my, all my little ramekins. I try to like, kind of shove in the top there <laughs> before I go. And even though it, does, it looks full right now, if I needed to fit these like bags in, I can kind of like flatten them out and lay them on top and stuff. So it is, if I really needed to, I could do more in here. Okay. Well, very cool. Thank you for sharing your organizational system. I'm not coming back on camera because my camera is not coming back on. <laughs> do you want to <laughs> you want to close this out? Sure. So this is how we organize our Octavia Fuelings. You've now seen two different approaches. Uh, one, compact, no boxes, very sleek, very road ready. The other, very visually appealing, rainbow colored and easy to identify. 
I know there are so many ways to store your fuelings. Sometimes people will bag them up, have them ready to go for a given day already parsed out. Uh, some people use different bins and organize them by the type of fueling, like if they're sweet or savory or crunchy. Um, we wanna see what you're doing. So go ahead and post in the comments or subscribe for even more ideas going forward. Uh, Marie and I are both health coaches with Optavia. We would love to help you on your journey and have you follow us, even if you're not one of our uh, coaches. <laughs> uh, tell us how you on the program. We'd love to hear from you. Until next time. Until next time.